me in my nose. Okay. That's damn moving. Yenisham Street Station in the middle of the uh, Oliver's District is one of the oldest stations in the country. It's been in it op, it's been in operation since the Great Depression. Uh, history lesson again. Even today its position in the middle of the town gives it a great deal of influence. <coughs> I found myself in front of the Alvis the police department. In in this eh. Initium Street Police Department. This police station. I can't speak. Supposedly, they try to preserve its 1920s style when they re renovated it. When they renovated it. For a result, I did it. Someone had decided edges and street lines that look like gas lights would help the place look quaint or something. It made it look more like an amusement park than a police station. <laughs> <coughs> I pushed my way through the door. The lobby was the what? The lobby was the polar opposite of the exterior. Modern styling with glass, linoleum, and particle board everywhere. I was gonna get in touch with Detective Shark. <coughs> <coughs> officers and visitors milling around the office. I noticed most of the visitors are there for traffic violations. A uh, Harry police officer behind the desk was doing his best to keep the place running smoothly. The line to the front desk snaked through the room like an anaconda, like an anaconda put in a cage half its size. I really didn't want to get in that line. Who the hell am I going to talk to? You instead of dealing with some stupid trap violations, why don't they go get some scot? Why don't they go catch some corrupt cops? Hey man, don't you read? Sure, why not? <coughs> what can I do for you? I need to talk with you. I need to talk to one of your officers. Police officer? What's your name? Jay Hunter. Mr. Hunter. The name of the officer and what is his department? Pina told me his name in the department. Oh, damn it, I forgot already. Ah! <coughs> Wait, save. Damn it. No! Come back. Come back. I didn't say go. Go. He's in the special crimes unit. His name? His name was Shark. His name is Detective Shark. Thank you, one moment please. My officer behind the desk picked up a phone and began to mumble to me. I couldn't hear the conversation over the din. Detective Shark was expecting you. We should be out shortly if you could just wait over there. Got it, thanks. <coughs> there was nothing to do but wait. And wait, and wait, wait then, wait then, wait. I sat down on the bench near the wall and watched people walk in and out of the lobby. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Observant people watching is one of the most important skills for a private eye. P.I. It was long before my brain began to notice that categorize interesting people in the lobby. A tattooed... What the? <laughs> a tattooed biker with Jesus saves him and lays it across his back holding an infant and looked me looking concerned. Several black, several rosters teenagers in Africa. They look rich, they 
be out of this. They, eh? they look rich. They be out of this. They be out of this. Oh. Oh God. What is that? Oh. It's the thirty. I'm doing Baymax already. <laughs> okay, let's continue. I don't remember where we are from. The lobby was the polar opposite of the exterior, modern styling. Da -da -da. Hmm, how is it gonna get executed? Talk! Did I talk to you before? Yeah, I did. Inspect. Reception desk. Hurried policeman behind the desk was doing his best to keep the place running smoothly. The line referred to the snake through the room like an anaconda put in a cage half its size. I really didn't want to get in that line. Receptionist. What can I do for you? I need to talk to one of your officers. Police officer? What's your name? Jake Hunter. Mr. Hunter. Now what is the name of the officer and what is Miss Barbara? <laughs> Answer. Homicide. Okay, well, and his name? Hmm. <laughs> I think it's wrong. Ah! Mr. Lewis. <laughs> Thank you. Wait a moment. Hey. Not again! Not again! I haven't done this in a while, so yeah, forgive me. Oh, there, thank you, thank you! Oh my god. The detective sharp was expecting you. He should be shot shortly if you could just wait over there. Yes, please. There's nothing to do but wait. I sat down on the bench near the well and watched people walk in and out of the lobby. Observing people watching is one what observant people watching is one of the most important skills for a private eye. It wasn't long before my brain began to notice and categorize interesting people in the lobby. I thought quicker with Jesus saves him <laughs> emblazoned across his back holding an infant and looking concerned. Right. Several uh, boys, boisterous teenagers in handcuffs. They look rich. Maybe out of the station in hours. You bet. An old lady clutching a set of whoa, <laughs> handlebars that appeared to be the only remaining part of the of a bike older than she was. I want to save. If I screw up again. Sharp, he's on his way. Please be patient. Okay. Where? I don't care about you. As looking around the lobby, I decided to try to make next move, and the man walk up to me. <gasps> you are. You gotta be David Letterman. Are you Hunter, the private investigator? Yeah, I'm Jake Hunter. What's it there? I'm Detective Sharp. King has told me about you. Sharp, lead me over to a corner of the room and behind a small portion. Sorry, but this is the best I can do right now. The rest of the office is full. King said you wanted to talk to me. I do. I got a few questions I was hoping you could ask. Great! Eva's room. What's the status of Eva Christina's room? I had some of my men go over and check it out. But there's not a lot we can do though. No reporting has been filed, so officially this location. We just preserved the site and locked the doors of the apartment for now. That's really all we can do. Good enough. Did King explain the case to you? Yeah. But without a missing persons report, there's not much the police can do. The fact that she works for a consulate makes things even more complicated. What do you know about the bus? The console? Officially, there is no official position on the console. 
But if King's like you that bad, then you can't be that bad. Just remember, you did hear this from me. There's a rumor going about. There's a rumor going around for a while that the, about the console. That he's into some bad shit. Looking around. <laughs> We're trying to get a lead on him, but that damn diplomatic immunity is making our lives hell. What do you mean by that? Just what kind of bad shit is the console running into, according to this rumor? Smuggling. The music. We don't know what he's doing, or how he's doing it. We know smuggling goods have been passing through the consulate, but we just can't get past the diplomatic immunity to nail the bastard. Interesting. That is interesting. I wonder if that phone call had anything to do with it. Phone call? Oh, some chump called me last night. Told me to leave the case alone. Real threatening. Hey, that sounds dangerous. Be careful, dude. I will be careful! You think this is the first time I've been threatened? If I let it get to me every time, I'd never get anything done. <laughs> Spoken like a man of the law. Well, if anything happens, be sure to keep me in the loop. Oh, sure, I will. I was just curious. How do you know King? King? Haha. <laughs> well, I suppose you could say he was like my mentor. He helped me out a lot when I was still a green horn. Aww. His passion for the truth is something I strive to match. Even now. Can I visit the apartment now? What? I thought you went over before. What? Aquarius again? Stop drinking! You're drinking too many! This is like an alcohol to a baby! <laughs> Except it's Aquarius. I, I thought you went over it before King called me. Well, sort of. I couldn't be too thorough. I didn't want us to serve a potential crime scene. Hmm. Well, my man didn't find anything of interest. I know. But there's a good chance I'll come There's a good chance I'll come up empty handed. But who knows? Maybe I'll notice something. I think it's worth a shot, at least. Hm. You're just like the king said you'd be. Fine. Now tell the apartment manager to keep the door unlocked today. Just let me know if you find anything, alright? Of course, I will! Let's move. I moved my way through the crowd of cops and civilians to the door, shoved it open, and walked outside. Found myself in front of the station. I wanna cut it short. Elsewhere. Okay, fine, I'll save. The spring sun shone on my back as I walked towards Eva's apartment. It was a good distance. It was a good distance from the police station, and by the time I arrived, it, I was beginning to sweat. I find myself outside Eva's apartment. Eva. Have been declared missing, came home while I was investigating her partner. The only event had done the same. But like they say, lightning never lightning never strikes twice. That's true. From my home, right, from my work before the hallway, I knew how far that was from Eva's place to the concert. Pretty far. It appeared that a nice neighborhood was very important to her. More important than a short commute. Okay. Inside! Eva's room was unlocked, just like Sharp had promised. I still felt on the edge being here, but I made my win. I can't even talk properly. The room is still a mess, no change there. Vanity had a number of bottles in it. I wasn't really sure what they what any of them were. The police had already been over the room. I figured they wouldn't mind if I borrowed a few bottles of whatever they were. With some jewelry and charge eh, and change. Sorry, on top of the restaurant. Whoever trashed this girl's room had either been in real hurry or pretty tore up. Pretty tore up about something. Someone had done through the dresser, but it didn't look like they'd taken anything. Even her bank statements and a couple of personal documents had been left behind. Shoebox. Her shoebox was a mess, so I figured someone had gone through it too. 
It did seem a little strange though. Why not just dump the box out on the floor? <laughs> oh, the case. Didn't look like anything had been taken from the clothing case, but then how would I have known? It looked like anything had bit. It didn't look like anything expensive had been taken, but I didn't exactly know what to look for in a woman's room. I figured I should add someone who has more experience than me with this sort of thing. I will call my girlfriend. <laughs> call, yes. Yulia might have at least some knowledge of what I should be looking for in a woman's room. I called Yulia. Julia! Ugh. The phone rang a few times and then I heard you. Julia! Yulia! I don't know how do you call it. Hello! Yulia speaking. Hey babe, I'm in. I caught myself. Is Mr. Holloway there? No, I'm sorry, he isn't. No, no, that's not good. That's good. I don't think we want to let him know that someone trashed Eva's apartment in. He's in bad enough shape already. Good idea, sir. Anyway, I'm here over at the apartment and I'm solving and I'm having some trouble. I don't know what I should be looking for in a woman's room. I'll send you a quick email with a few pictures of the room right now. Let me know if anything catches your eye. It would be my pleasure. I took a guess about what might be important and snapped a few shots. But I don't even know. I've only just finished sending the pe last picture when my phone rang. Well, I can't tell what clothing might have been stolen if there's any during missing, but there's missing there was one thing missing. And what is it? I just noticed something strange about her makeup. Most women use a toner and a moisturizer daily, and those two items weren't in any of your pictures. What are you getting at? It almost looks like she was living on a leaving on a trip. A trip? Interesting. Alright. Thanks, babe. You've been a real help. As I hung up on the phone, Yulia's words echoed through my mind. A trip. A trip. Go about that. I did enough. Even the room, Eva's room wasn't going to tell me anything more. It was time to move on. With Yulia's word about the trip still on my mind, I pulled the door shut behind me. What kind of kidnapper gives their victim time to pack makeup? Uh huh, right. I arrived at Eva's apartment building. You mean you arrived downstairs? Wait, let me save. No, 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 no. Save, 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 save. Memories of the past. Please don't show me away from the past. I couldn't believe I was thinking about this, but it's too nice of a day for a smoke. I shoved the back back into my bucket, a uh, bucket, pocket, and off for the bark and consulate. It was only a nice day for a walk. Shame I was only there on business. There was. Back in front of the bar can goes to like. He can move! There are a few other things we wanted to tell before I visit the consulate again. Damn it. It wasn't surprising that it had been a regular. Right, let's move in! Inside, inside! As I pulled the open the, as I pulled open the thick wooden doors, a cluster of bells rung, hung from the inside the... Bleh! I can't even speak! A cluster of bells hung from the inside handle rang, announcing my entrance. I built up to the bar. Dang it! The food. Wait, 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 wait. Tiny is eating my f my food. <laughs> She's eating my junk food. <laughs> she didn't want the rice. What else? What give me? Aya. Get up. 
Mother on the telephone. Talk to Lola. <laughs> I'll get back right in a bit. Okay. The bar. The bar had just opened for the night, but that is how things were really. You're still dead. The only other customer in this place was the lonely middle aged woman from the night before. I really didn't want to talk to her, but I absolutely didn't have to. Then talk to her! Greeting. Can't get enough of this place, can you? Yeah, sorry to bother you. Oh, it's no bother at all. I was hoping someone could. I was hoping to find someone I could chat with. Great. Ah, uh, too bad, Eva, isn't it? I know. Unfortunately, I think I've already told you all I know. Actually, I wanted to ask you about something else. Something else? What is it? I remember the business card I gave you the other day. Hmm. Not again? Stop drinking all your drinks. Have you shown it to anyone? She's finished one bottle of Aquarius now. That's a first. Oh, you mean it wasn't just for me? Um, um, oh yes, I did. I think I did show it to someone. Who? Uh, after you left, another man came by. He was asking about Eva too. I thought I could have you out, so I told him your story. He said he wanted to get in touch with you. So I showed him the business card you gave me. Did, did I do something wrong? No, 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 it's nothing. It's fine. The man, the one you showed my card to. Can you tell me about him? He was Asian. He had a really thick accent. I think I had trouble understanding him. I think. I think he was Chinese. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was Chinese. I don't know what it was, but he was kind of scary. I got scared. I didn't know what else to do, so I showed him the card. card. Sorry, it seems like I got. It sounds like I got you into some kind of trouble. Don't worry about it, ma'am. You actually did me a favor. Really? Thank goodness. This guy. He a regular here? No, I've never seen him before. I'm sure I never forget a face like that. He didn't look like just a criminal. There was something about his eyes. Ha. Huh? Listen, if he drops by your then could you give me a call and let me know? Sure, no problem. A friend of Eva's is a friend of mine. <laughs> Can I talk to you, really? You know what I mean? Ah! English. What? Yep. No one to drink. <laughs> Even for me, so I figured it was high time I was heading back to the hotel. It was a moonless night, and more than a few of the street lights were out, plugging my walks. Uh, my walk back to the hotel in the near total darkness. I hadn't made much progress in the case, but any progress is better than nothing at all. It was a long walk back to the hotel, so I decided to take a time to organize my thoughts. What did I want to do? I want to think! No, let me save. Oh my god, my brain. I, I had run from one end of the... I'd run from one end of the pono to another, trying to figure out who made that phone call first. When I asked Iris about my business card, she said She still had it But she kept it in her desk Oh, I forgot who's Iris, sorry Yeah, she said she got it and gave it to the bus himself Right after I'd left The bus had got a my card But once he had it He put it away? And he hadn't shown it to anyone. After meeting Busk, I'd gone to in in Nithium Street to meet another new friend. Kinga told me to go talk to the detective Sharp at the Inithium police station. Sharp had let me in on a rumor about the consul that was circulating at the department. What is going around? Smuggery. The smuggling. <laughs> the cops were sure Busk was smuggling something, but they didn't know how. Sharp gave me a go ahead to have another look at Eva's apartment. With Julia's help, I managed to figure out what was missing. 
Um, Mika. Her daily toner and moisturizer were missing. I wasn't quite sure what to make of that. At the bar floor, Ford, Foyd, Ford, nah, I found out the middle aged tequila aficionado I shared an evening with had shown my card to some other guy. Showing to a Chinese man! She said she spoke with an accent she believed was Chinese. I turned the day events over in my mind, every, examining them from every angle. With the facts as straight. Tiny. With the facts as straight as I could get them, I turned. I turned my mind to thoughts of nicer things, like scotch. Really, I was thinking about the bottle hiding in my suitcase as I struggled across my silent. Oh God, I can't even think. I was thinking about the bottle hiding in my suitcase as I, as I trudged across the silent parking lot. What was Julia doing? I wondered. Oh wait, picture. No! No! I lost my opportunity! What? I barely even registered the first one and several more followed as I drove as if to drive the point home. I knew that sound all too well. I heard it a thousand times in the streets of New York and a thousand more times in the back alley of his PC. The sounds of gunshot. I'll only say this once, Mr. Hunter. Leave this case alone. Oh god, I remember the voice on the phone. I just assumed the voice was warning me. If it weren't for me, if it wasn't for me then that mean Shit. I broke into I broke into a run across the silent parking lot, blood pounding in my ears. I could feel the icy hand of fear close to my heart. I hope God uh, I hope to God I was wrong. Up 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 I clicked the wrong thing last time and now I'm gonna redo that. Smoking. The crack of a gunshot shattered the, the Pono night. The sound hit me like a punch to the stomach. The shots had come from the hotel. As I sprinted across the parking lot, the frantic thoughts stumbled through my head. Had someone tried to bump me off only to find Holloway or worse, Yulia? As some goon up. Some goon up in the hotel had just emptied what sounded like a whole clip into something. I just hoped that something had been a human body. If Yula had been hurt. Screenshot. Three. Damn, three. Ah, I'll come back. That was hectic. Okay, I'll leave this episode up to here because I don't want to go over again because the last video I did was 30 minutes or something and it's chaos. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Click on the like or dislike button and tell me how you think of the video. Uh, click on the annotations on the side to subscribe to me and to see my last video that I've done. And hey, you can leave a comment too if you think I did crap again. So yeah, until then, this is Netnar signing off.